Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. It's Monday night and I'm going to share with you how to create this really cute fun fold. I'm just getting things set up on Facebook here. Uh, if, there it is. Open that up. Here. There we go. Now, oops, back up one step. Sorry. <laughs> so this is called Okay, I got it going now. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, now I'll just be quiet myself. There we go. Okay, I'm up and running. Yay, welcome everybody. So this is called a fold over pop fold back pop up card and I am not using any dies or embossing folders hey Janet I know there's people watching because I can see the icons don't let me forget to do the draws for the last two sat share it Saturdays hello Let's see, who have we got? Norma and Yvonne and Sharon and hello. Oh, so nice to see everybody. Well, I can't see you, but it's okay because you can't see me either. Okay, let me get this fixed here. So fold back pop up card. Isn't that fun? Look at that. I love it. So the, there's a little flappy thing here. And it's all in getting your um, diamond shapes lined up with each other. And then on the inside, there's a place to do your writing. Now, you don't have to put this, if you want a bigger area to write, you don't have to put this on the inside. It would look just fine without it. But there it is. So, hi, Holly. Did I say hi to you? I don't remember. But anyways, thanks for everybody. So, I, But before we start, I just want to tell you, things are selling out fast. This is the retiring list, and all the blue things are what's already gone. The green things are the bundle pricing that is retiring, but not the pieces themselves. So there's been a little bit of movement lately on um, stamp sets and stuff couple of Just Jade and Bumblebee reinkers are sold out, but there's still lots of stuff. Look, all the dies and the jewels and the ribbon and all of that stuff is still available. But of course, only while supplies last. And I also want to tell you that the Waves jewels, now as you remember when these came out, when the wave, Waves of the Ocean collection came out, we told you that these were only while supplies last. This and the designer paper, these are gone. You can't buy these anymore. So, you can't buy the collection, but just because you can't buy the entire collection doesn't mean you can't get the bundle and the designer paper and then qualify for um, my free class on the 24th of April. I did the videos today and oh my, the cards are so awesome. Okay, I know they're my cards, but I like them. Thanks, Yvonne. Now, I've used some in color shimmer paper and it's retiring. I've made a bee out of the ladybug. Oh, its wing is hiding. But what I did was by accident, I discovered that if you put a glue dot right there in the middle, like I was trying to figure out how to attach the wings to the bee with, without it showing. So I just put a glue dot in the middle and then put a black matte dot over top. But by doing that, look, the wings move. It's got an interactive card as well as a fun fold. Isn't that cool? I'm using the... And this is, wait, let me get the name right. The Sprig 
punch. This is retiring. And the medium daisy punch. This is not retiring, but the big one is retiring. And of course, the ladybug builder punch to build all that. The stamp set is Hello Ladybug. Hello Ladybug. But the only part I'm using is the You Can Bug Me Anytime. And then I'm going to add black matte dots. Oh no, on the envelope. I'm also using um, the stamp set. This is polished pink and evening evergreen. And then the sentiment is in black. So, how's everybody? I haven't seen you, some of you since last night when I did my free class last night. We had fun, didn't we? That was a cool class. Apparently I need to clean my grid paper. Okay, let's get busy. So I'll tell you the... Hi, Carmen. I will tell you the recipe because I don't think I posted this. Okay, thick basic white, eight and a half by five and a half and score it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And you fold it four and a quarter this way, and then two and an eighth gets folded back that way. Then I have, turn it over, because I when I pack, do my packaging of my kits, I always package from the inside out. Just Jade is five and three eighths by two. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Okay, that's not five and three eighths by two. Hello, Blondie. This is one and, nope, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And hmm. just wait because this is not two and three quarters. Oh, yeah, it is. Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Then there's a piece of white. That's two and five eighths by two and five eighths. That's going to go on top of it. And that goes on the inside. And then I have um, artfully composed designer paper. So this is the one with all the, the leaves and stuff on it. And you cut two pieces that are two by two and then cut them diagonally. And so they go around the inside like that. And then I have, this is the little flappy thing. So what this is, it's, it's the same size. It's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. You score it in the center and then you cut off one inch. So you put it in, you put it in your paper trimmer and line the point like it had this point. Let me show you on this one. So you put it in your paper trimmer. You line this point up at one inch and you cut it off. And you end up with that. That's the part that's going to be the foldy part. So that's going to lay over top like that. And then, and then you cut, this one is two and, a, two and five eighths by two and five eighths basic white and you cut it diagonally because it's going to go on the it's going to go on this thing like that and I think if I remember correctly the other side you don't use then two strips of just jade that are five and three eighths by two and one goes here and one goes here and then two strips of artfully composed designer paper that is five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. That's going to go on top of those. Then I have a piece of evening evergreen that is two by three ish. And that I'm going to punch out the sprig punch twice. Then two pieces of just jade that are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And they're going on the front. Black about one and a half by two and a half. We're going to punch our B out of that. Here's a strip of, um, what is this? Bumblebee cardstock. That's just a scrap. It's about a quarter of an inch by five and a half ish. And I'm going to cut the stripes for the B out of that. This is 
three eighths by two and a quarter. That's for the sentiment. And then I have a scrap of the pale papaya in color shimmer paper that I'm going to cut, punch the um, wings out of. This is the uh, pink, pink, come on, what's the name of the pink? Polished pink piece. And it's about two by three and a half. And I'm going to cut, punch two daisies out of that. And then there's two pieces of artfully composed designer paper. It's one and five eight by one and five eighths. That's going to go on there. So there is a lot of pieces. And I didn't, I was going to put the recipe and I just never got around to it. So let's, let's get, let's get our pieces punched out here first. Punch out the wings first. There we go. Get my little garbage can here. And then I'm going to punch out the body. There we go. So there's our there's our B, and then I'm going to attach these and I'll just hand cut those off. Okay. So did you guys have a good weekend? We got home Saturday about noon, and I kind of hit my craft room running and I haven't stopped. Two two daisy punches out of the polished pink. Put that off to the side. Am I going to put the recipe up? I was not going to, Connie, but I guess I could. Let me find a piece of paper so I can make a note. Oh, wait, I'll just make a load on here. Put recipe on video. Okay, I will, I will put it, I'll go in and edit the, the video. You know how you, I say what the video is all about. I will go in and edit it there. Uh-oh, phone call. Yeah, I'll put it up, Holly. Okay, two sprig punches. If you guys weren't fast enough to write that all down while I was saying it. Or the fact that I screwed up a couple of times made that difficult, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, some things. Okay, my punching is done. My pieces are all done so we can start the assembly process. Okay, let's, let's do the B first. Because, you know, that's the cutest part. Get out my... My mat <coughs> and put some adhesive on this piece. Now it always it's too narrow for this, so I have to do a little folding over. There we go. Oh, you're welcome. You know me. I aim to please. Okay, so we're going to put one. Oh, this one is a bit wide. So this is a quarter of an inch, but I'm going to cut it down. I don't want it quite that wide. And of course, I'm cutting it by hand, so it's going to be crooked. And if I had to cut it before I put adhesive on it, it wouldn't have mucked my scissors up. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'm not going to throw that one away because I might not like this. It might be too wide. Let's have a look. Okay, so tell me, tell me, do you want the wide strips or the narrow strips or both? Maybe we should do both. Tell me, tell me what you think. And while you're deciding... While you're deciding, I'm going to put these pieces together. Okay. 
Connie says wide. Carmen says both. So we got a wide and a both. So I want to know wide or narrow or both. Oh, got two votes for both. One for wide. Okay, line those up. I like this designer paper. I like the polka dotty part on this paper. And of course, it's this one is good until the end of June, thankfully. Oh, three for both and two for wide. Uh, oh, there's another both. So it looks like both is winning. Okay. If I can get this on here properly, life would be good. I did my um, my Waves of the Ocean class videos today, so I'm a little talked out. All right, so we're gonna book, we're gonna do both. We'll put a wide one, and then we'll put a narrow one, and then I'm gonna cut them off. Oops. It's crooked. Oh. Wide one and a narrow one. And then a wide one. And a narrow one. This is going to look cute. Oh. Stuck to me and ripped right off. Come on, get off my fingers. Ugh. Okay, and then we'll put a narrow one. The only thing this doesn't have on it is a stinger, but that's okay. We have a stingless bee. Oh, I like that. Look at that. It's cute. Okay, let's just do a little, little trim in here. Trim off those pieces. So, I don't know, you that don't, those of you that don't live in Port Alberni, how was your weather today? Because our weather was absolutely phenomenal today. It was warm. The breeze was warm. The flowers are all budding. The bees are starting to buzz. It was amazing. I went out from my walk. And that's another story that I'll tell you in a minute. But I went out for my walk. Started out with a light spring jacket on had to take it off halfway around because it was so warm out there. I enjoyed it. Okay, there's our bee. Now, take the wings and find my glue dots. Oh, Peggy. Ooh. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm putting a glue dot right in the middle. So I put it right right there in the middle of that and we'll put the wings on here like that there now you I don't know whether you can see it or not but I can see the glue dot there so that's why I put a black um, black dot over top of it Reno is chilly cloudy and threatened rain for the day oh <laughs> No, I don't want it. We had rain all day yesterday. It was awful. Well, it wasn't awful because I spent the whole day in my craft room, so it really didn't matter what it was doing outside. I only knew it was raining because I could hear the rain on the skylight. I sure didn't. I checked my phone last night because I have I don't have a watch so I use my phone for my steps I didn't even hit 1700 steps yesterday oh uh oh uh oh uh oh either the designer paper is too long hang on or this is too short so that's too short apparently I cut hi Wendy apparently I cut my designer paper too long. I've got this little yellow thing hanging off on my fingers and it's driving me crazy. Okay, let me measure this again. 
five and a quarter. And what did I write down on here? I wrote five and a quarter, but I didn't cut it to five and a quarter. No, I cut it five and a half. Oh yeah. Okay. Is this going to work? No. All right. So I have to measure, I have to cut off a quarter of an inch. So we'll just cut off a quarter of an inch. And then I'll have to do the other one, but this one has adhesive on it. Okay. So apparently things are still have not improved since I got home. I'm still doing things wrong. Okay, what's under there? Oh. It's that little scrap of paper under there. It wants to come off my print my cutter. There. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to co-cut this. Hang on. Make sure it's the right size this time before I go putting it on here. Okay. So I, um, I went for my walk today without my coat. Talked to some people. And when I start my walk, I walk through a cemetery which is only a block from my house. So I said hello to the new neighbors because since we were away, we've had a new neighbor move into the cemetery. So I said hi to the neighbor. I said hi to a couple of people that were out there walking around. And when I came home and put my my walking distance in my my conqueror app i finished my niagara falls challenge today which is kind of cool it was a hundred and what was it a hundred and 119 or something kilometers that i've walked since we went to tofino Okay, so this one, so now I'm going to put a glue dot on this to hold the, to hold the um, daisies together too. So now I'm looking for another challenge. I haven't figured out what challenge I want to do next. I'm thinking of doing Yellowstone. So does anybody want to start a challenge with me? Oops, come on. Anybody want to do one of the Conqueror challenges with me? Thanks. Uh oh. There's a glue dot. I am having fun tonight. <laughs> okay. Find my card base. I am enjoying finally getting. I used to walk all the time. Like every day I would walk. And then I got out of the habit. So it's nice to be doing that again. All right, so I'm going to decide which way is up on these. That way. Okay, so I'm going to put one on the front. Let's put a little bit of adhesive on them. It's too bad hubby can't walk with me. But his health just does not allow him to walk that much. Which sucks because now we're at the, you know, that age of our lives when we thought while we were young and had family and went through it. And we thought that come the golden years, we'd be able to travel and do stuff and it's not happening, which sucks, but it is what it is. So we go camping, which allows him to sleep in his own bed. Okay, there we go. Now the next thing is to put these on. 
going to do them one at a time. Let's move all these little pieces out of the way here. There we are. Okay. Get adhesive right into the corners. Just like that. And then, where's my card? Oh, I took my card out of the way. So you, you want to make sure that it's the same length as this. So this is five and an eighth. No, five and three eighths here. So when you put these on, you want it, you want them to be right down in that corner. Wait, you probably can't see. Let me move it up. So I'm kind of eyeballing where it should be. Right about there. Now, it's a little bit of Nope, Ted will not be skiing. Nope. And I don't think I'll be skiing either because, you know, it's spring there. But we'll see. We'll see when I get up there. We're going to stop in Kamloops on the way through and visit some friends. Our kids grew up together when we lived up north. Um, hubby used to work on the natural gas pipeline while our kids were growing up and they we lived in company housing out in the middle of nowhere and they lived right beside us and their oldest is the same age as our kids so and I I actually ran across a picture you know how in Facebook you have um your memories pop up well a mem a picture of their oldest and our kids sitting together when they were uh, not even two. They were very tiny. They all had um, coveralls on and bare feet and it was cute to see. So that popped up in my memories today from eight years ago when she shared it. Yeah, they were wrong, all right, Carmen. I agree with you. But I'm fine. Like, the thing that bothers me is that I'm fine, and I can do all this stuff, but he can't. Okay, I'll get that out of the way. He tries. Bless him, he tries. But it's his back that causes the issues. So There we go. All right, so that's that's the inside, and then we have this piece, but I can't put this on yet because I want to. Well, I let's see if I put this. This kind of has to be centered like this, and then you line this up like that to put it in. So maybe that would be easier to do that like that. Okay. I need to put on, so I've got the front done, I've got inside, I've done this part, this is ready, but I have to stamp this flat because I didn't put designer paper on there. I keep putting the card away so you guys can't see what's going on. Okay, where's the, where's the golden triangle here? I'll just stamp on this. No, I won't because then the ink will transfer. Get out my dirty paper. Don't be so lazy. All right. I'm going to take polished pink and the flower stamp. And I'm just going to do one set of flowers right there in the corner like that. Ooh, something on my stamp. There's fuzz on my stamp. Okay, turning it over. I'm going to do it again. So I did a I did a video um, on how to clean your ink pads. It's on my YouTube channel, and I think I'm sharing it with you at some point. But 
just in case you want to know how to clean your ink pads. So I'll show you my Blackberry Bliss. I don't know whether you remember how ugly my Blackberry Bliss was, but can you see it now? It's absolutely pristine. There. Isn't that cool? And all I did was wash it, blot it, and re-ink it. But, warning, do not start that process if you don't have your ring anchor because you cannot use your ink pads afterwards without re-inking. Oh, apparently I'm really gobbing over the edge here. Let me wipe that off. Okay. We are. So that was polished pink. And now going in with Evening Evergreen and the dots. And we'll just stick some dots in there. You know me, how I like my dots. I love these things. They're a great way to fill in a background. That off to the side. I'll put these on here. You don't see a lot of this, but it's nice to have the dots in there. And I'm luckily I'm being careful. I'm not getting the mung because there's a lot of mung on there. Whoops. Wait. I need to put another one there. Yes, it's it's very easy to do. Make sure you wear gloves because I wore gloves and then found out that my gloves had a hole in them. So you'll find out why you need to wear gloves. Get good quality gloves. <laughs> you, it's depending on what color. Well, I did Blackberry Bliss, so you can imagine how dark my fingers were. Okay. this on here like that maybe if I'm lucky get it there we go now I'm gonna fold this nice and tight bring back my card get some adhesive on this this in here. It's adhesive everywhere tonight. Now line that up, sort of center it, just eyeball it. Now let me look at it. That'll do. Now this one goes on here like that. So I have to put adhesive on the f this part that's going to be folded over. And then you line it up where you want it. So you've kind of got a little bit of playroom with this. If you want it really narrow, then move it over. If you want it a little bit wider, do it like that. It all depends on what this looks like. And then just close your card. There you are. There's the flap. Is that cool? All right. Now we have these two. And they're going to go on here like this. So kind of do a dry run so that you can kind of figure out where you want them. And I'm just going to put a little mark right there. That's where I want the points to be. But 
I can only put adhesive on that half or I will glue my card shut. There we go. I'll get some adhesive on here. Where's my mat? Thanks. I had fun creating this card. It's a cute card. Now, get my eraser out because I want to erase that line just in case it shows. Okay, now there's my mark and I'm going to line that bottom point just above it. And that point on that, on the fold and this point on the fold. Like that. All right, I'll do the other one. Like that. Oops, like that. And erase the line. Line up that point just below that mark. And the other point on the other, like that. There we are. So when you open this, that folds over. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. And I'm not worried about that mark because that's where the sentiment is going to go. It's going to go right over top of that, like that. So it'll cover it. Okay. Find my memento. So what do you think of this? What do you think of this fold? You know what? I'm thinking I need a contest for this fold because I've got lots of stuff to give away. Um, make a card using this layout. I'll start a I'll start a thread. Um, in my VIP, in my VIP group, I'll start a thread to post make this make a card with this fold and post it because I have I have a whole bunch of that um what was that friend thing from celebration you know the, the designer paper and the what the heck is that oh yeah let's let's mung that up I need a piece of scrap paper um, hello friendship or whatever that was called. You know, the stamp set in the, the designer paper. I've got that, or I've got a hive embossing folder. So whoever wins can choose between that. And if all else fails, if you have both of those, then I have in color jewels or something that I can give you for the winner. That's better. Now, those of you that don't live in Canada, friendly hello. Thank you, Janet. So those of you that don't live in Canada, please enter too, because I love to see your cards. And I will send you a card, maybe even this card. Okay, so that's going to go there like that. And so I'm going to put, I'm going to put, um, what are those things called? Dimensionals, but only up to here. Let me go get it. Hang on. Okay. I got it. Okay, so I have a package of... Um, what was this called? Sunshine and Rainbows paper. I have a package of... Simply Marvelous paper. I have, oops, wait, I have to take my note off of here. Hang on. I have a hive embossing folder and that's brand new. And I have the hello, friendly hello bundle. So while I'm away, I'm away for a week. 
while I'm away, make this card and get your, um, share your card with me in the thread in my VIP group because this is for my VIP peeps. And if you're not part of my VIP, then it's free. Just come on over and join us. Um, when I get home, I'll do a draw and somebody can win one of those five items. You will have your choice. Now, if you choose the friendly hello designer paper and you live out of town, I'm going to cut it down to either 6x12 or 4x12 because otherwise it's going to cost me $20 to mail. But if you want it whole, if you want it 12 by 12, then we can split the postage on it. There we go. So there's the sentiment on there. So now let me write down here what the, the draw in the VIP. I'm writing down what I said. Um, fun fold card. Bye. Now I'm home on the 4th and I'm going live on going live on the 7th. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's a surprise. I'm going to do a surprise um, live stamping on the 7th. Then I'll do the draw then for one of those things. So start Start sharing your card. It has to be this fold, though. Uh, I'm looking for my my big. There they are. My big dimensionals. Has to be this fold. It can't. I don't care what you use to make it, but this fold. And I'll do a draw on the seventh, and somebody's going to win some goodies. I like the fold too, Carmen. I really do. I think it's fun. And it's not hard. It's just a lot of pieces. Okay, and we'll put our bumblebee on there like that. And I'm going to put some glue dots on the end. So I will put the, the link to my VIP group in when I put the recipe for this card in. And if you're not part of my VIP group yet, come and join us because that's where the draw is going to be. It's not going to be on my main page. It's going to be in for my VIP. I call them my VIP peeps. My VIP peeps only. Okay, so this is two sprigs and I'm just going to put them there and then get one more glue dot. One more glue dot right in the middle of that flower and put it on there like that. Okay, now somewhere in all of this mess is my black matte dots. So these black matte dots are not on the retiring list. Yay, they're going to be there. I like these. I use them a lot. And I think I'll use a big one for the center of the flower. It just seems like it needs a big one. And then I'll use a little one for on the bumblebee. There we go. What do you think? Is that cute or what? Okay, I feel I'm feeling some glue. Take that glue off because otherwise my card is so I have I have what I'm drawing I'm gonna put out of country send this card okay now you know what I didn't do I'm gonna do the draws but I forgot to set the wheel up so I have to do that Thanks, ladies. I'm so glad you like it. 
And I hope you give it a try because it's really not difficult. Okay, so I'll put this here. This is the recipe. I don't know whether you can read it or not. Put that over there. But I have to set up my wheel because I didn't set the wheel up for the draws and I have to do them. Oops, there's the wheel of names. Take those out. Put in here March. Oops, let's spell it right. Oh, yeah, my arm's in the way. You probably won't be able to see that. March 12th. Does anybody else not like laptops? Man, I tell you, every time I touch something, it does it weird. Janet L. Connie. Peggy. Val. W. Car Carol Smith. Yvonne, oops, sorry, Yvonne, I spelt your name wrong. And Wendy. Okay, now I'm going to go to another one, open it up, and I'm going to do March the 19th. And that was Leanne Watson and Connie did two, so she gets on there twice. Peggy and Wendy. Okay, I'm ready. Thanks, Susan. I appreciate it. Okay, let me just go in here real quick. Go to there. And so here's the link for my VIP group. If you're not part of that group, come over and join us. All right. Got the wheel all set up. Are you ready for the draws? I'm going to take you down off of my stand. Oops, you don't need to see me. Hi. <laughs> okay, where's the flip around thing? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Continue. There it is. Whew. Thought I lost it. Okay. You don't need to see me seeing me. It's okay. So this is the draw for the 12th of March. And ready, go. So on this one, the winner is. Yvonne, congratulations, Yvonne. I'll send a card and a little gifty off to you. It's too bad I didn't do this before. You could have picked it up this afternoon. Okay, and this is the 19th. We'll just spin this wheel too. And Wendy. Congratulations. Okay. There. Congratulations, Yvonne. There we go. There we go. Okay, got it working again. There we go. Of course, you have to okay. listen to me. There. Okay, so I'm back. God only knows what happens with technology, I tell you. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. I will be back on the 7th with another stamping presentation and the draw. So don't forget, I'll go right now when I finish this and set up the, I'll pin the, the post to the top in my VIP group so you can find it. Make your pop-up, whatever this card, fold back pop-up card and post a picture of it in my VIP group and I'll do the draw on the 7th when I get back. Everybody have a wonderful time and thank you Sharon. I will have a wonderful vacation. Again, it's not a vacation. I'm going to visit family but you know. Thanks so much everybody. Stamp and smiles and bye for now. <laughs>